curse it from the root. We curse it from the root. In the name of Jesus, we curse diabetes. We curse diabetes from the root. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say dry up. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up. We have a of Messiah. We bind up hypertension. In the name of Jesus. Hypertension, we are cursed. We curse you. We curse you. We curse you. In the name of Jesus. Low blood count, we curse you. We curse you in the name of Jesus. We curse you by fire. We curse you by fire. We curse you by fire. In the name of Jesus. We curse you by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sign of We curse you. We curse you. We curse you. Spirit of heaviness. Spirit of heaviness, we have a Hey, my Catawba Rose, Robo Sanda, the Messiah, Yabo Catawba Rose, Robo Sanda, Robo Robo Catay, my face. Jesus, spirit of heaviness, a curse in the name of Jesus, a curse you, a curse you, you witchcraft spirit, fire in the name of Jesus, fire, Yababa Sanda. Do dealer and spirit. Every dealer and spirit. Every dealer and spirit. In the name of Jesus. We bind you. 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 We curse you. We send you back to the grace of fire. In the name of Jesus. 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 One of us, Mighty God. Hey, God. Spirit of not going power. You hold on spirit. You hold on spirit. Your spirit of the make you. We are buying you. We are buying you this morning. In the name of Jesus. We buying you. In the mighty name of Jesus, rub up our shanna, rub up our kataya mase, rub up shekara of our kataya. In the name of Jesus, we bind you, we bind you in the name of Jesus. You set fire, you set the gates of hell, shall not prevail. The gates of hell shall not prevail. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name. Of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, attack the attackers, attack the attackers, demons that are attack, attacking the feet, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, attack them, God, attack them, in the mighty name of Jesus, attack the attackers this morning. Attack the attack of this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter them by fire. Scatter 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 by fire. Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, mighty God, Jesus, I put the gun man that they you this man. He said, shut down the gun, mighty God. Shut down, mighty God. In one, in the era, mighty God. Every era you are done, we shut them down by fire. We shut them down by fire. We shut them down by fire. We shut them down. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every drug lord, we shot them down. Blood and Jesus. Blood and fire. 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 The mighty name of Jesus. The other day come. The other day come. Every mother, I hear your baby. <laughs> 
Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, worship Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you, intercessors. God bless you, intercessors. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Sister Garden. God bless you. Amen. Come on, clap your hand for Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like you to turn your Bible to Psalm 34. Amen. Man is to put it into Psalm 34. We're going to ask for the one to please stand. Let's just be respectful to the word of God. Amen. We have a long day. And then after we finish here, we're going into the past. And it's too short to me. Amen. We want to do as much as we can here. And then we're going to work to preach the gospel. Amen. So I'm going to ask you to please stand. We're going to read alternatively when I read you read. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. They looked to him and were and were like them, and their faith were not a sin. The angel of the Lord encamped all around those who fear him and deliver them. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, there is no one to go to fear him. From his children, listen to me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. If you come to leave us and your lips can speak in the feet. The eyes of the Lord are on his right side. And his ears are open to their prayer. The righteous cry and the Lord hears and deliver them out of all their troubles. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver him out of them all. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. Read. So we again the last verse to Amen. Ten second. Amen. The Lord redeemed the soul of his servant. And none of those who touch him shall be condemned. Do you believe that? Amen. This is the word of God who says. Amen. Verse 17 says, The righteous cry and the Lord. Hear yeah, the righteous and the Lord deliver the righteous. Amen. So you see today when you when you pray in this place, God is about to hear your prayers. Amen. Whatsoever the situation is today, whatsoever place that you are at today, Amen. God will hear you. Amen. You don't have to be rich for God to hear you. You know, you don't have to have a you know, name for God to hear you. As long as you have a clean hand and a pure heart. Amen. Praise God. It's a wonderful right to cry. Amen. Praise God. Come on, open your mouth and 
give him some praise. Come on, open your mouth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. We're going to call our sister to come and help us with our worship. Amen. Praise God. We're going to worship together. Amen. We are going to worship. Glad to see you, sister Andrea. Amen. Praise God all the way from up here in New York. Amen. We will give you a sister welcome. Amen. Hallelujah. We're glad to see you. Amen. We are to say the church. We're going to have some extra something to say. Amen. I wonder if you have a sermon today. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands with Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Lord,
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome, Holy Spirit.
I God Almighty, this atmosphere. Come on, throw the fire and the blood in the atmosphere. Come on, release this place. Release this place. Shanda Boko Shata. Rebeko Shata Labaha. Rebo Shata Labaha. Come on, scatter the blood. Shout the blood of Jesus. Come on, reverse. Reverse, 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 reverse. Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. We declare the blood in the atmosphere. We plead the blood in the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pull down strongholds with the blood of Jesus. Oh God, we plead the blood of right now. In the name of Jesus. We push back with the blood. We send back every fiery dark of the wicked. Principalities and powers. Territorial spirits. In the name of Jesus. Monitoring spirit. We shut you down. You powers of darkness. You underworld's power. You marine spirit. We shut down your altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Rabba Koshata, Riba Seta, Labosa, Riba Doshata. You hear change of darkness. You hear change of the underworld. I shut you down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You secret hear this. I shut you down in the name of Jesus. I stop your operation. I overthrow your powers. In the name of Jesus, I pull down your powers. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. Somebody declare the blood. Declare, declare, declare the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. We crump you with the blood. Drop up for Satan. We crump you and paralyze you. With the blood of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on, wake up the church with the blood. Wake up the atmosphere with the blood. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you queen of the course, we shut down your order. In the name of Jesus Christ, Rapa Kotone, we speak to every crystal bond. A lockdown, a lockdown every hunger. I shut you down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I send fire. I send fire. I lock down your portals. I lock down your entry. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise in the sanctuary today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every obstacle. I speak to every mountain. I speak to every strong man. I speak to every strong woman. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rapa Koshatai. Ripa Dalibosa. Lepe Koshatai. Rapa Koshatai. Rapa Dalibosa. Zatatai. Rapa Shatai. Every bone shot. That fire towards this church to kill this church. We send you back in the name of Jesus. Every gunshot that has been released to destroy our intercessors. We send you back in the name of Jesus. Every gunshot that has been released to fire and destroy our leaders. We send you back. In the name of Jesus, every gunshot, I command you to melt in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, Rabba Koshatai, Rabba Nakata, Rabba Satai, Rabba Koshatai, Rebe Kotande, Rabba Shakata, Rabba Kotunde, Rabba Shantai, Rabba Koshata, Rabba Nabase. Rabba Shatai, Rabba Kotolia, Rebe Kotanta, Rabba Sai, Rabba Shakote, 
we shakotara rapa sata ratanta rabose rapa kataya rapa shantai rapa dokosaya somebody throw the fire throw the fire show blood and fire show blood and fire blood and fire Shatataya, Rapa Koshata, Rapa Baba Bada, Rapa Baba Bada, Rapa Koshata, Rapa Dalabose, Rapa Baba Dai, Rapa Batuda, Rapa Koshata, Rapa Tai, I take control, I take dominion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, rise up in this place. Rise up in this way. Rise up in this way. Holy Spirit of God. Somebody wave your right hand. Somebody shout hallelujah here. Yeah. Your right hand is the right hand of power. Somebody praise God. Oh God, the order they have to is a harder here today. Somebody, oh Lord. Somebody shout fire, shout fire. Show fire in the church. Take your time. We send fire upon the walls. We send fire upon the roof. We send fire in the east. We send fire in the west. We burn. And we destroy. Wrap up your time. Wrap up. Yeah, you have a satan. Yeah, you have a satan. I am a shot at a tata tata. I am a shot here, Bossa. I am a son of a cosia. My God Almighty, Holy Spirit of God, somebody just wave your hands in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Feel I want to pray. Shanda Lava Koshaya. He Lava Koshanda. Anything that attached to this minister that is pulling our energy, we cut you loose now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anybody that is attached to this ministry, that is reporting to the underworld, we cut you loose now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone, any attachment to this ministry that is reporting to see it at the headquarters, I cut you loose, I chop you off. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any ears in the darkness that is connected to this service, I cut you loose. Somebody pull out your scissors. Cut loose, cut loose. Somebody cut them up. Every attachment of witches and wizards, we cut you up. In the name of Jesus, right now, we rise up in the spirit. We cut up. Right now, it's your God. Every attachment uh, to witches and warlocks uh, in Montego Bay uh, concerning this church, uh, we cut you now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we cut off your card uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we disconnect you, uh, disconnect them, uh, disconnect them, uh, disconnect them, uh, disconnect them. Robert uh, every connection uh, to your life uh, that is causing sickness. Uh, we cut it off. Every connection to your life that is causing depression, we cut it off. Every attachment to your life that is causing stagnation, we cut it off. Every attachment to your life that is causing problem and trouble, we cut it off. In the name of Jesus, somebody cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it up, cut it up, shop it up. In the name of Jesus, every attachment, we cut you up now. 
every attachment of the marine world. We cut you off now. Every attachment to darkness. We cut you off every attachment to witches and warlocks. We cut off in the name of Jesus. Rabba Shatai. Cut off. Cut off. Cut off. Something is causing the problem. Something is causing the problem. There's an attachment somewhere. Cut off the attachment. In the name of Jesus, we rise up with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. We cut loose now. In the name of Jesus, somebody cut loose. I feel I want to cut loose. In the name of Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, we decree and declare that today every attachment burn. Cut, 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 cut. Somebody raise your hand and shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. In Jesus' name, you may be seated. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Just put your hand. It's a while for your prayer. Raise your two hands. And say, I will not have a bitter life. I will have a better life. In the name of Jesus. Come on, declare it again and say, I will not have a bitter life. But I will have a better life in the name of Jesus. Come on, as you release the decoration, send a sound in the atmosphere. Better life, better life, better life, better life, better life. Better life. You shall have a better life. Every one of you here shall have a better life, better life. Receive better life. Receive better life. Receive better life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory God. Can you feel the Holy Ghost? Can you feel the Holy Ghost here? Oh, God. Can you feel the Holy Ghost here? Open your mouth and give him a shout of praise. Oh, the church is getting ready now. We're getting ready to another level now. Somebody give him a shout. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The anointing is here. Holy Ghost is here already. Amen. He's in the house. Look at the name and the neighbor. He's in the house. The Holy Ghost is here. Whatever your problem is today, you shall go home with victory. Come on, somebody. Come up here today. The devil is fighting you. I rise to tell you. That after this fasting finish, it will be the end of your warfare. It will be the end of your battle. God is about to give you a praise. Somebody give him a shout it out. Come on. Oh, yes, yes. Somebody just receive it around them. Somebody just receive your victory. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I need some person to come and testify. I need about four persons that have powerful testimony. Listen to me. I need powerful testimony. I'm going to have to be here, but you need to hear the powerful testimony of the healing, what God has done for you through this past Amen. I want you to be somebody who is in this place. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Greetings, everyone. I'm glad to be in the house of God. I took you from, I'm like, everybody know I'm an online member of Virtue. They know you're a prophet saying, Andrea Timothy, it's me. All right? God 
God bless you. Anyway, um, I have so much testimony, but I'm going to share this one. About two years ago, uh, my leg got, got sick. I just went to work one day, and by the Friday, I'm coming home. I to do walk. I end up in the hospital, and I said, I have to do immediate surgery. And if I don't do the surgery, they're going to cut my leg off. I said, the devil is a liar. Anyway, we went through the surgery. I couldn't walk. Someone has to come in and teach me how to walk again. I tell you, Virgin, I lost everything on my hospital bed. They fire me. I lost my job. I lost everything. My bank account went on to negative dollars. Tell you, I never have a thing. And But God is good. Trust God. Trust God. And one day in my church, I was walking with a, a walking stick. And when Reverend Daly began to pray and preach, I threw away the walking stick and begin to run. And look at me today. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. So when you see me running up and down, praising God, I have so much to thank God for. I just start working in January. And in, about in February, the Lord took in my spirit that I should get a suitcase and start packing the suitcase. Now we just get each other just get work. You know, work for two years. And I got the suitcase burden. And I started to put little things in there. Come here, come here, come here, go. Five years because of COVID and the surgery. And about three weeks ago, this trip that you see me here takes three weeks. Three weeks to take to come to Jamaica. Um, my job said to me that they, um, they're going to leave me up for a week. I just said, it's happening. When I tell somebody I am getting vacation, they say, no, my boss, sir. Or you have to just start work and get vacation. So I shut them out. Because you know, I said, once you start questioning, my God, then everything gone. So fear to those work is dead, Brazil. So I start to pop the suitcase. I went to release the date, the same day to release the date, I buy my ticket. And in two weeks time, here I am. God tell me down in style. Style me come a Jamaica way, Brazil. In the name of Jesus, fear to those work is dead. I will trust God. Trust him, because he's going to see us through. He's a provider. He's everything to me. I cannot be ungrateful. I have to come and hear my testimony. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Praise God.
on the Sunday night I was so glad that I was here. That Sunday night I, I got my deliverance from all my burden that I was carrying in my heart, about 80%. A few days after, a spirit came to me and said, why are you worrying about what the people are saying about you? Why don't you think what I am saying about you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Since I met the blessed Savior, since he cleansed and made me whole, I will never cease to praise him. I'm going to shout it while he turns it to me. He touched me, he touched me. Oh, 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 he touched me. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something, something happened. And now I know he touched me and made me old. Come on, church of God, let's sing the chorus. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. Somebody worship the Lord here. Come on, worship the Lord here. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
fruit of the Lord is here. The sun comes to the pure of the spirit. The man don't lose the smell, don't lose sight. Stay focused on the shout of praise. I'm a shout of praise. All my first time visitors to please stand. And then all my first time visitors can ask to please stand. Amen. Praise God. Come on, see them standing. Amen. Clap your hands. Amen. Praise God. On behalf of our prophets and bishops, all the leaders here, amen. I want to welcome you to Miracle Center. There's a miracle here for you today, and I know that your soul will be blessed. Praise God by the end of this service here. Amen. All the members of the church, I want to put your hands together for our visitors. Amen. If you are sitting close to one of them, just shake their hands or hug them and tell them welcome. Amen. Praise God. Welcome. Hallelujah. Welcome. God bless you. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. A blessing to have you. Amen. Put your hands together for our visitors again. Amen. And I want to encourage all the members of this church. When you come into fasting, I don't want you to come by yourself. I want you to bring someone with you. Amen. So you start to encourage them from the way, from Sunday. Remember, I'm bringing you to fasting, and I want you to come to fasting with me. Amen. Because I don't want you to just keep it to yourself. I don't want you to keep what God is doing here to yourself. But I want you to share it with others. Amen. Because I know that God is doing something for you. I know that God is working miracles for you. I know that God is moving in your family. Amen. You know, because you're connected to this church. Amen, somebody. And I don't want you to keep it to yourself. Amen. Praise God. Before the prophet comes, amen, I just want to clear the atmosphere until he arrives. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I want you to turn your Bible to the place to St. Luke. Chapter 10, and then St. Luke chapter 10, and verse 30. St. Luke 10 and verse 30. You know, reading from verse 30. When you find it, say amen. Oh, can I ask you please? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, for that, Taliban. For God is going to move here and see here. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 30 says, And Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to death and fall among thieves. St. Luke 10, I'm at verse 30, 0, 3, 0. Everybody find it? Read again. And Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to where? And fell among thieves who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a certain priest came down that road and a lever when he arrived at the place and came and looked and passed on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, somebody says Samaritan, as he looked, as he journeyed, came where he was and when he saw him he had compassion somebody say compassion so he went to him and bandaged his wound pouring an 
oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And the next day, when he part, he took out two, then he gave them to a keeper and says to him, Take care of him, and what's to ever more you spend when I amen there, there is a killer that has been released to destroy there's a killer that has been released to kill and destroy our destiny the devil don't want us to fulfill our destiny he doesn't want us to move forward Amen, somebody. So he will try everything to stop us. Amen. He will try everything, glory to God, to take us out. Amen. But as you sit here today, everything that Satan has put up before you, God says it shall be removed today. In the name of Jesus. Somebody give him a shout of praise here. The Bible says the son of man was manifested for this purpose that he might destroy the works of the devil. Amen, somebody. So every work of Satan concerning you today, God shall destroy it in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, open your mouth and say, destroy them, Lord. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, it says, glory to God, he fell among thieves. When you look at the, and when you study, glory to God, about the distance between Jerusalem, glory to God, and Jericho. Amen. Glory to God. It was a good way down there. Amen. Praise God. But the road was a very rocky road. The road was a very rough road. Amen. And a lot of thieves and robbers. Amen. Glory to God is in that way. Come on, Luda. But glory to God, you know, as this man traveled, uh, the Bible says that they set up for him. They plan for him to kill him. Come on. Glory to God. They plan for him to attack him. Amen. Glory to God. Seem like some of us today, as we on our journey. Come on, somebody. There are some persons that uh, the enemy have set up to kill us. Come on. The enemy have set them to rob us. Come on, somebody. But I decree and declare today that no weapon that form against you shall prosper. Come on, somebody. There is some weapons that have been released and there is some plans that have been planned against you. But God is about to destroy their plans in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody raise your hand and say, destroy them, Lord. Hallelujah. It was a rough road. Come on, man. Somebody say, rough road. Look at your name and say, neighbor, the road is rough, man. The going gets tough. Come on, but God is going to bring us through. Come on, man. It is like the road that David speak about. He said, yeah, though I walk through the valley. Come on. Of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord. This road, you see this road? You have some corners. Come on, you see that road? Yeah. This road, glory to God, have some steep. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This road, have some patrol. Come on. But praise God, today, every assignment of Satan upon this road today, God is about to destroy his assignment. Somebody give him a shout of praise here. Hallelujah. And the Bible said them set up for him. Come on, somebody. The thief, they rob him. Come on. A holy for us today, man. Come on, they rob some things from us. 
did not the Bible says in John 10 and verse 10 the devil come not but to kill steal and destroy but God come to Jesus says I come to give life and give it more abundantly look at your name and say neighbor you're not dead Satan why you're dead but you're not dead Satan won't drink your blood but but him can't drink your blood today you are at the right place at the right time Satan sending some darts him sending some attacks come on to somebody no matter oh Lord Jesus can I preach a little bit here look at your name and say neighbor if a good man we are going to overthrow him today anybody then said they mash us up anybody then said to rob us God will confuse them. God will come back. Somebody give him a shout of praise. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout. I shall not die. And the Bible says, Glory to God, the stripping. They strip him, come on, of his clothes and they wound him. Come on, man. The enemies try to strip some of us. Come on, somebody. That's what the devil want to do. He want to strip us. Strip us of our identity. He want to strip us of our calling. Come on, somebody. Look at today, man, say, neighbor. As long as God is alive and well inside of you, him now going to allow the devil to kill you. Come on, somebody. Then try to strip us. Some people try to strip you. Strip you and left you to die. But God says today, he's about to rescue you. Somebody give him a shout of praise. Somebody get oh yes sir yes sir somebody release a shout in this place come on then set up gang to strip you them speak against you because they want to strip you come on no man look at your name and say neighbor because you're a danger to hell that's why they are plan to strip you because Lord God, you have terrorized them. That's why they want to strip you. Come on to somebody. But today I hear God says, he's about to pass through the place. Somebody praise the Lord. Give him a shout of praise. Oh Lord God Almighty Jesus. They wound him. They strip him of his clothes and wound him. Oh God. Hard oh, the depart, leaving him half dead. Leave him and say, You're going to die. But look at your name and say, Neighbor, I'm not going to die. Because God is about to send somebody to rescue me. God will send a man of God to rescue you. God will send an intercessor to rescue you. Lord, you know, we preach around here. Look at your name and say, neighbor, some of them, they leave you. They dead. They reject you. Say you're done. What God says to tell you, there's a good Samaritan about to turn it around. Somebody talk to the preacher. Give him a shout of praise. Lord God, you're not going to be dead in the war. You're not dead in the warfare. You're not dead in the condition. God is about to bring you out. Somebody shout a praise. Shout a praise. They wound him. I said they wound him. Lord God, the man was wounded. Look at your name and say, neighbor. Sometimes they shoot. And then believe you're dead, but you're not dead yet, you're just wounded. Somebody praise the Lord. Look at the name and say, Neighbor, God went just on the wound. Some of them shoot lie, 
then shoot here he said and then wound you up and believe you're going dead but you're not going dead because the good samaritan somebody said good samaritan somebody says samaritan i believe you're going to come today and rescue me out of this condition somebody shout the praise give him a praise in the house Sit down, sit down, sit down. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, "Them leave him half dead, half dead." Jesus God. So then the priest, the priest, the priest. Hallelujah. The priest passed by. You know a priest. You know a priest is like a pastor, right? You know the priest should have known better, right? The priest should have the compassion. The priest should have a heart like Jesus. Come on, man. Some people don't have no heart, you know. Come on, you don't talk to me around here. Come on, them, they don't even know who you are. Come on, somebody. So them talk all them of evil just to kill you and wipe you out. Come on, no somebody. But look at them and say, neighbor, you are dependent on the priest to help you. But I hear God says to tell you, he's about to send somebody. When you're not text, you're going to help you. He might go bring you out of it. Somebody praise the Lord, man. You're not preach with me. Somebody shout. Somebody say help. Somebody cry out, help. Hallelujah! 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 Look at your name and say, neighbor, and at them your help will come from. Some of you are looking to your friend to help you. Some of you are looking for some family to help you. But I don't know family are going to help you. I don't know friend are going to help you. God has troubled somebody. God has touched somebody in a far land. Just to go help you. They believe you're dead. They believe say you're done. But God is about to send you help. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody shout help. Lord God, can I preach it? Can I preach now? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Somebody find somebody and say you're not dead. Under our watch. You can't dead. Nobody can kill you. Under my watch. I'm mid upon the watch. I'm mid on mobile. I'm mid on my miracle center. You can't dead. I'm a battle axe. I'm a warrior for God. Somebody praise the Lord. I who won't kill you. I who won't kill your children. I who won't shut down your business. I who won't shut down your destiny. Well, I come to shut them down. I come to reverse. I come to lock down. Somebody praise him. Somebody shout hallelujah. God Almighty Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 But the Levites, they pass by the man and say, you're going dead. You can't come back. Come on, somebody. The Levites, he was a worshiper, but he no had no mercy. But look at your name and say, neighbor, some people have mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Anybody feel mercy? Lift up your hand and cry mercy. Because you show mercy. A time now for God to show you mercy. Somebody have feel mercy. God says to tell you, get ready. Come on to somebody. Some church people have going to pass you by. But God is about to send a good Samaritan. Somebody shout a praise. Somebody trouble the Samaritan. I soon tell you who is the Samaritan. Somebody give him a shout praise in the house. Sit down. 
Bible says that the Samaritan passed. No, the Levite passed, right? Everybody passed the man. Ah! But look at him. Holy Ghost. Look at him and pass him. You know what people can help us and pass us? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You know what people can pray for us and pray for us? Hallelujah, they left us to die. You know, talk to me, somebody. You ever come in contact with those religious people yet? God is about to send some people into your life. We are going to pray you up. God going to send some people into your life. We are going to help you fight warfare. You don't talk to me around here. God has sent my seko, my shiala, my koshanda, shanda, the bahodia. God going to send some people into your life. We're going to lift you up. God going to send some people in your life. We're going to value you. God going to send some people in your life. We believe in your anointing. God going to send some people in your life. We know where you're going. You don't talk to the preacher, man. Somebody trouble them, the man. Somebody trouble your Samaritan. Your Samaritan is coming. Somebody praise the Lord. Give them a shout of praise now. Uh, 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 yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody say, Yes, Lord. But the Bible said, That's certain. Somebody say, Certain. Somebody say, Certain. Samaritan. Lord God, the Lord, yes, this man was not expecting the Samaritan to help him. Come on, some people when I look to be help, and them are gonna help way. Come on, somebody, you are, oh Lord God, somebody praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, some people will pass and ignore at them God set up in your life. You now talk to me man somebody praise the lord and sometimes we ignore them walk past your destiny helper and you don't know your destiny helper but god says today you shall know because he's about to open your eyes somebody praise the lord man give him a shout of praise lift your hand and say i shall not die but i shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Watch it. This Samaritan, him not dressed like a Jews. This Samaritan, him not look, him not look like, him not dressed like. Hallelujah. Him look ragged. Hallelujah. But him. Guess what you have with him? Listen. Him have oil. And him have wine. Wine represent the word. God Almighty. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor. Some people that you believe don't have the word. That them have the word. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, there's a word that come to them. You see when the word that come, it's going to dry up your wound. You see when the word that poor oh God. You see when the road show up to them. It going to dry up cancer. Come on, somebody. Somebody praise the Lord. Can I, I want to preach around here, brother Davis. Somebody praise God. You know who was the good Samaritan? Jesus. He said, come unto me. All he that are labored. And have a laden. And I will give you rest. Come on to somebody. Some of them know why you're getting no rest. But Jesus says, you're about to get rest. 
anywhere they will arrest you. The good Samaritan says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel, to release those that are in captivity. Somebody help me, the man. Give him a shout of praise. God Almighty. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we have a word. The good Samaritan have a word for your problem. The good Samaritan, no matter what they put you, the good Samaritan, send the word. It shall not return unto him void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. Somebody praise the Lord. Can I tell you who is the good Samaritan? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. The same that was in the beginning with God. The word took on flesh and dwelt amongst man, and we beheld the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and shoot anybody need a word lift up your hand and say lord send a word share to them and say neighbor the word are come you see the word yeah it are going to turn back generational curse you see the word yeah it are going to mash up the plan of the enemy somebody praise the lord somebody a get to that god somebody wound a try up you see the word it are going to try up wound you see the word it bring healing you see the word it turned things around you see the word it turned back over here. you see the word it mash up rubber somebody praise the lord give him a shout of praise come to the messiah somebody shout yes Sit down. Good Samaritan. The good Samaritan. Somebody. The good Samaritan. He have wine. And him have oil. Symbolize the anointing. Come on somebody. Condition that you're in. You need an anointing man of God. The condition where them put you in. You need anointing. Isaiah 10 27 said the anointing shall destroy every yoke. Somebody help me here. Lift your hands the anointing. Destroy the yoke. Anything where them sent a bush. Any place where them put you. Let you be dead. The anointing will bring you up. Somebody shout around here. Give him a shout of praise. The anointing. Somebody say the anointing will make a difference. Did not David says he anointed my head with oil. Somebody say oil. Yes, sir. Share to them and say, dear man, are you of the anointed? Come on, they don't believe you have it. But you have it. They may undermine you. But you have it. Somebody praise the Lord. Some people, they may look to. They may have it. But you have it. When you open your mouth, devil run. When you open your mouth, warlock run. When you open your mouth, you shift the atmosphere. Come on, people. Shout a praise. Anointed vessel, give him a praise here, Lord God Almighty Jesus. Somebody shout, I shall not die. You can't dead under my watch. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, we can't have the anointed. I will be a man kill you. Can't have the anointed and witches kill you. Can't have the anointed and Jezebel kill you. 
God of the anointed. Somebody talk to me. I rise with the anointed. Somebody release your prayers. They can't kill you. They can't bury you. They can't shut you down. The anointed is alive and well. Somebody shout, yeah. Good Samaritan. Bring true. It's a good Samaritan. To man to No make the priest them. Tell you nothing. No make the Levites them. Tell you nothing. You know. That the anointed. Is in this place. Somebody shout yeah. Shout yeah. Shout yes. Somebody say I shall not die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the anointing of poor. I feel it. It's a poor in the wound. They left you to dead. They want you rotten. They want to bury you. But they can't bury you. Because the anointing, it's a poor. They left you and say you are not dead. But you're not dead. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, let them go on. Tell them, Lord God Almighty, the good Samaritan is with you. Some of them believe that when they leave you, you are going to mash up. You are not dead. But you can't work as long as Jesus is with you. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Somebody help me. Give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Put him, Lord God, the good Samaritan, lift him up. Look at the demon say, neighbor. I feel a lifting. What the men for evil. God is about to turn it. Somebody should turn. Turn around for your own good. Somebody shout a praise. They meant it for evil. But God said, get ready. It's a good turn. Somebody said, turn. Can I tell you? It's a good turn. From death to life, it has got turned from sickness to healing, it has got turned from poverty to prosperity, it has got turned. Anybody feel the turn? The anointing of poor, Lord God, the good Samaritan, he carried the anointing. Somebody, hold on, God Almighty, somebody receive it, receive it, receive the anointing, receive. Right when they stub you on your back, anointed the poor. Some of them laugh with you, but then stab you. You help them, but then turn around and bite you. But I hear the Lord says, the stab, the anointed, a poor in a hit. They may expect the stab to kill you, but as long as the anointed touch it, come on to somebody. I feel somebody, the wound will dry up, the wound will dry. Because of the anointing, God says to tell you, I'm a poor anointing. Somebody's the anointing, right in the business. Well, then try and mash up. Lord, you don't preach, but I hear the Lord says, As you're not church, the anointing, a poor in your business, the anointing, a poor. And your children, what them say, now I'm gonna come out to be nothing. A light devil, I tell the anointing make a difference. Somebody praise the Lord. I have the word. Somebody say, Yeah, say, Yeah, I have the word now. 
Can I tell you? She can you say neighbor? I have the wine represent the word. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty and will say of the Lord mix the word with the anointing and you'll get life mix the word with the anointing and God raise you up lift the word mix the word somebody said mix the word with the anointing and you shall be like an eagle somebody say yeah say yeah major one i feel the anointing somebody raise your hand shout a praise you will not die you will not die under my watch look at your neighbor and say neighbor i feel the anointing i lift you up if i bring you in a safe place right in a breakthrough right in a miracle center but then give up on you but the mandoshire the anointed is here today to lift you up somebody raise your hand shout a praise shout a praise shout a praise there is a lifting up there is a lifting up somebody shout Listen, the devil come to kill you, the devil come to destroy you, but Jesus says I come to restore you, I come to give you life and give it more abundantly, lift your hands, Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, every wound every wound by the enemy today God is about to dry up your wound and the good Samaritan the good Samaritan the good Samaritan lift up the wounded man and put him on the donkey bring him into the inn listen the inner inn breakthrough is an inner in and there are some keepers here that will not allow the enemy to kill you <laughs> somebody worship a lot listen when he bring the the wounded man there he told the keeper he said listen take care of him take good care of him and what's to ever it cost when I return, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, do good, man. Nobody look to man for no reward. Because when God come back, he might go reward you. And I feel a reward today, God Almighty. Love of Shatatai. Why you about Shatan? I feel a reward. 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 Shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, receive your reward. All the good that you have done, receive your reward. In another church here today, some of you do so good. Nobody see you. Nobody can tell your thanks. I hear the Lord say, today is the day of reward. If I go reward you, somebody talk to the preacher, man. Receive your reward. Hallelujah. 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 Oh Lord Jesus, can I feel the anointed? I feel somebody a reward. God, I reward you. I said, God, going to reward you in the service. You, you know where God going to reward you with? He might go reward you with anointing. And he might go reward you with a word. Somebody's about, God is about to release a word in your spirit, man. That will heal your God Almighty. 
Somebody shout a praise here. God, I heal your son right now. Right now, God, I restore your son. Right now, Pashata. Somebody release a shout of praise. Somebody send a shout in the atmosphere. You will not die under our watch. You shall live. Somebody say live. Somebody say live. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. When you come in contact with the Samaritan. You shall live. I say you shall live. Because the good Samaritan. He deal with the wound. Come on to somebody. Before some of us come to God. We were wounded. Left to die. But if any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. One thing. I passed away. Anybody feel the new thing? Where's the major one? Somebody shout a praise here. Somebody say life. Shout life. Listen. This man that was robbed and left to die. The good Samaritan. Sit down. Listen to me, man. Sit down. Listen. God have some strange way of doing things. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I said, God have some strange ways of doing things. Lord God. Look at your neighbor and say, I hear the word favor. I hear the word favor. God says to tell you, some people can just walk up to you and fear by you in the name of Jesus. Pashatatad. God said, get ready. Oh Lord God Almighty. You never look in front of the person. You never look fear upon front of the person. But God go and send them. For just walk up in you. And say you're ready. You're ready for peace and land. Come on Lord God Almighty. You're ready for your store. For start a business. You're ready. I say get ready. Receive favor. Receive favor. Receive favor. A long time you are wait. A long time you are cry. I hear the Lord says they have wounded you. Lord God, even your friend, oh yes, even your soul called friends have wounded you. But I hear the Lord says, I am drying up your wound. I am restoring your wound. You are wounded. You can't reach the place that you must reach. But I hear God says, today, I'm restoring you. Today, I'm removing the maggot out of your life. Today, the Lord says, I am uprooting some things. And I shall show you favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody open your mouth and shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah here. Got a tick, 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 release. Tick, tick, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody worship God. My God Almighty Jesus. Something is happening right now. Something is happening right now. Keep telling me. Somebody praise God. Lord God Almighty Jesus. Oh God Almighty. Somebody give God a praise. Lord God, they have you in one place. 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 Rabba Koshata. I see you there. They have your bone. They have your control. 
they're controlling your destiny but in the name of jesus christ i pray the order i pray the spell i break it from over your life every evil altar Rabba Koshata. Somebody's a fire. Somebody's a fire. Come on, raise your hand and shout fire. Good God Almighty. Release. Lift your hands. You will not die under my watch. You shall live. You will not die under my watch. You will not die under my watch. You shall live. Ah. You know, people are trying to kill you. You know, devils and demons is looking for you to kill you. But they are not going to cover you. The word I cover you. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Anybody, anybody feel the anointing in the house? Somebody open your mouth and release a shout of praise around here. Listen. The good Samaritan. He's the man. He's Jesus himself. Jesus himself. Come. To bring a change. In the life of this man. The devil said, listen to me. Death. But Jesus said, life. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. Listen to me and listen to me good. Amen. As I hand back the mic to the teacher. Listen, I need some people here today. I need some people here today. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Somebody worship the Lord here. Yeah. Devil is a liar. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody say anointing fall on me. Somebody say anointing fall on me. The anointing and the wine is about to be poured in somebody's life. Anybody need the height and the anointing to pour in your life? Somebody worship the Lord here. Somebody say anointing. Fall on me. Anointing. Set me free. Let the power. Let it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Come on, somebody wave your hands. Oh, you God Almighty. Come on, just raise your hand. Oh, the anointing is getting ready to flow in this place. Come on, somebody. Let it yellow bo shut eye anointed for on me. You shall not die under our watch, but you shall live, said God. Oh yes, anointed for come on, somebody. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Let the... Let it... Anoint him. You may be seated. I sense God is about to move in this place. Do you believe? Do you believe? So how you come so late? How you come so late? 
Ah. So we didn't bring us a late. Then couldn't bring you when who oh, bring you here? Sorry, love. Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody worship the Lord. Why them just a bring you? I would they here two years now. Last night you hear about it? You never hear about Prophet Mark Short yet? You never hear? What are you saying to me? Prophet Mark Short name is a city. I told him yesterday his name is a city. And all type of people going to come to the city. Robbers going to come to the city. Liar going to come to the city. Hallelujah. Scammers going to come to the city. All type of people, haters, when come to the city, but they can't overthrow you because you build the city. Somebody help me around, man. The man that built the city, come on, he's unclean. Nobody can remove him until God ready to move him. Come on, somebody. Somebody praise God around here. Jabez's name was a city. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen to me, man. Listen, the anointing is in this place. And don't matter where Satan try. In can Ganga. We are praying people, you know, man. Come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. But I sense the anointing is about to set you free in this house. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord around here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I have with me here before I begin to pray and release prophetic prayers over you and show you what God is about to do. As I speak a word in your spirit, I have about five, five oil that mix with frankincense and myrrh and cinnamon with a red cloth in it. The intercessor have prayed on this for many, many, many months. It's the oil from Jerusalem. And the Lord says we must release it in this season. And I have five little small bottles here. But I want you to release it to five persons that ready. For God to do something new and fresh in their life. And there's some persons here today. I'm not going to speak to everybody. This is not for everybody. But I have some more. But I want five persons that can. This, you're not buying no oil. I want you to sow a seed of $20,000. And receive this oil. Listen, I'm not selling this. I am not selling it. Listen. Listen good. I am not selling this. I want you, the intercessors, they instruct me and said, listen, the, let the people sow a seed. Because this oil is going to work for you. Some of you that is in business, this oil is going to work for you. You're going to anoint your hands. You're going to anoint anytime you're about to receive money and you're about to release money. You're going to anoint your hands with it. Anytime you're going to deal with documents, you're going to anoint your hands and go and deal with your documents. Listen to me. Anything you touch with this aisle, God says to tell you, it shall and will be successful in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody give him a shout of praise here. Somebody raise you and I give him a shout of praise here. And listen, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. 
I am a servant of God. And whatsoever God says we must do, that's what we're going to do. The red thing that you see in it is a piece of red cloth that we put inside of it. Red represents the blood of Jesus. Red represents danger. And remember, anybody that wants to use your money against you, when you anoint your hands, it shall backfire. It shall backfire. Somebody say backfire. Somebody raise up your two hands and say backfire. In the name of Jesus. I want five persons here that can sow 20,000. 20,000. Five. That's five. I need. That's five. I just need five persons. That's five persons. If you can sow 20,000, come. If you can sow. I, when you sow, I will release this oil in your hands. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. You don't have to worry yourself. If you don't want to, it's fine. Because there's some persons out there in, in England and America is calling me. They want it. They want it. They want it. But if you don't want to do that, it's just five person. Five person. Will not change. Five person that can come and agree and say, Preacher, I need to sow that seed and receive this oil in the name of Jesus. Come on, just lift your hands. Listen, you're not buying no oil. You are so. You are so it. I saw you are so it on the altar. You're not buying it. Nobody tell people, say, come here, come buy. I have 10,000. Nobody do something. I saw you are so it. I mean, I release something by you. I saw you are so. In the name of Jesus. Somebody worship the Lord here. The machine is here. If you have a car, then you can release it. The machine is here. The machine is here. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Come on. As I walk in this morning, there's a woman that asked me, Preacher, you bring the oil? I said, yes, ma'am. Amen. I don't know if you are still here. If you are still here, you can come. Hallelujah. If you are still here, God bless you, ma'am. If you are still here, woman, that asked for the oil this morning, you can come. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Hallelujah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. No, that's all right. That's all right. Amen. Let's hold your eye in your hand. Praise God. Lift your hands. Anybody else? Anybody else here? Anybody else? We both are tired. I know it's five person here. There's five person. Especially there's a businesswoman here that is getting attacked in your business. Amen. This is breakthrough. A breakthrough we are doing. Yes, ma'am. Huh? No, what I'm saying, I'm dealing with five person. I'm an assignment for five special person that God wants to release a blessing on. Amen. Just worship God because God will heal you today. Worship. Just worship. We don't force people. We just tell people what the Lord is saying. Raise your hand, somebody. Amen. I have three persons here. I need two more persons. Come. Jesus. Watch God. You're going to come back and testify. Yes, ma'am. Speak to her. Speak to her, woman of God. Yes. Yes, man. Just stay right here. Stay right here. Satan Abash. I need two more persons to come and agree with me here. Connect with me. Connect with me. Connect with me. Anybody connect with me. Connect. Anybody else? Come right here. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Stretch out your hands. Stretch your hands. Come right here. Come. Stretch your hands. You're finished, man. Hallelujah. Raise your hands. Hallelujah. Just raise your hands in the body. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we worship your name, Lord. Father, we worship your name. Oh, we worship your name, Jesus. Somebody just set up some worship in the atmosphere. Send up some worship in the atmosphere. Stretch forth your hand, woman of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands out. Father, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. As an intercessor of the land. As I release what you have given me to release. 
Jehovah God. Sanction it. Jehovah God. I place a weapon. In the hand of your daughter. I place. A mass destruction. In the hand of your daughter. I pray that this weapon. Will bring clearance. This weapon. Will bring vengeance. This weapon. Will push back. Weapon. Will trip back. This weapon. My father. In Talabosha. Will lock down. Satan apparition. Yenda bosata ya bosheta. Ribata losa. Shanda badaya. Rebebebebebebebe kata. In the name of Jesus, receive. 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 In the name of Jesus. Somebody shot fire. Somebody shot fire. I lay a weapon in your hand, woman of God. I lay a weapon. When you touch your children, curses will lift. When you touch anything in your house, it will be blessed. When you touch your gift, the blood of Jesus shall rest upon your gate. When you touch your door, the blood of Jesus shall rest upon your door. When you touch whatsoever, it shall turn around in the name of Jesus. Somebody raise your hands. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout the fire of God. Somebody release the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody clap your hand for Jesus here. Watch God. Watch God. Watch God work for you. Somebody clap those hands. Release a praise. Release a praise with me. Somebody give him a shout of praise here. Mighty God, the anointing is about to move in the house. Somebody shout a praise here. Shout hallelujah. Somebody raise your hands and say every enemy. Somebody say every enemy of my breakthrough. I silent you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every enemy of my finance, I silent you by the power of God. Somebody raise your hands and give him a shout of praise. Somebody set up a shout of praise. The Lord has silent your enemy. The Lord has silent your critics. God has silent them. Oh yes, I hear a silent. Yes, that's it. God has silent. Your silence has come on somebody. Give him a shout of praise. Your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough now in the name of Jesus. Somebody give him a shout of praise. Somebody raise your hands. I'm going to close. But somebody said, Destiny killer. Somebody said, Destiny killer. That hate my increase. I command you to die. Somebody said, Die by fire. Die by fire. Every destiny killer that attacking your children. I command your destiny killer to die by fire. Somebody kill them. Kill them with fire. Kill them with fire. Kill them with fire. Kill them with fire. Them with fire. That's it. Are, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are going down now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody second that I'm high. Raise your hand. There's something is about to happen here. Something is about to happen right now. Somebody raise up your hand and say, Territorial power that is after my destiny. I command the fire of God 
to destroy you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth territorial power is loose in your house territorial power is loose in your family somebody open your mouth release a shout of praise the territorial power break from you the territorial power is loosened now in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody clap your hands. Give him a shout of praise. Somebody, oh yes sir, yes sir. Territorial power in your community is loosening you now. Territorial power that is chanting over you is loosening you now. In the name of Jesus, somebody raise your hand and shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Shout fire. In Jesus' name. Amen. Before the major arrive, there's some persons here that can sow 10,000, 5,000, 2,000, 3,000. Hallelujah. 1,000 come at this hour. We're going to sow in this ground and hand the mic back to the prophet. Come. If you can take out something, you must always bring something to church. Come take out a seat and come and sow. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Territorial force overthrow. Territorial force overthrow. Come. Come with what God bless you. Come. Hallelujah, Jesus. Brother Davis. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Come. Come, everybody. Come, come, come. Come and sow in the ground. 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 Come, 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 come. Come and sow in the ground. Come. Come and sow, everybody. Come. Heal Abbasata. Come and sow. Come. Come and sow in the ground. Come. Come, come, sow. Come, sow in the ground. Come. Rebasata Labadushe. Rabba Dalin Basakia Masse. Ramba Satanabako. Come and sow the ground. Come and sow the ground. Come. Come and sow the ground. Come. You're right, Nikata. Rabba Sat. Come and sow the ground. Come. Come and sow the ground. Come. Come and sow the ground. Laba Sete Leba Kata. Rabba Satanabako. Come and sow the ground. 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 Come. Come and sow the ground. Come. Rebo Shata. Come and sow the ground. The deliverance is about to take place. Come and sow the ground. Come and sow the ground. Leba Sata. Rabba Sanda, every spiritual rabba, every spiritual rabba, every spiritual rabba, the machine is here. Come and sow, come and sow the ground. Rabba Kataya, every spiritual rabba, every spiritual rabba must die in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, 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 come. Come, come, ye ba shata ka, ye la ba come. They're coming. Somebody just wave your hands and worship the Lord. Hallelujah! The prophet is coming. Hallelujah, Jesus, coming to deliverance hour. Come on, Hallelujah! Come on, oh yes, they're coming. They're coming. Hallelujah, Jesus. They're coming. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Stand up on your feet. The man of God is coming. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come on, just wave your hands and begin to worship the Lord here. Come on, begin to worship the Lord here. Come on, begin to worship the Lord here. Yeah, yeah. Somebody set up the sound in the atmosphere. Set up the sound in the atmosphere. Yeah, Jesus. Raise your two hands. I speak to your hands. Every one of you here, I speak to your hands. By the power and the authority of God, I speak to your hands. Every spirit of nothing to show, I command it to break from you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your hands. And I pray that God will begin to anoint your hands. As I pray for your hands right now. Every curse that release on your hands. 
I command that curse to be broken in the name of Jesus. Any power that is tied in your finance right now. That is tying you down. I command them to lose your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every darkness that cover your hand. I command that darkness to break from your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody open your mouth and give him a shout of praise here. Yeah. Come on, lift your two hands and shout fire. Somebody shout fire here. Amen. The prophet is coming to do deliverance here. Amen. Come on, clap your hands while the man of God come. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, I want you to put your hands together for Apostle. Awesome, awesome delivery. Amen. Be seated. I greet you in the great name of Jesus. All our warriors, Brother Campbell and our young sister. You Got to get your name. Amen. And we have one of our, one of my daughters in the faith, all the way from New York. One of my Brooklyn, or two. One, where she come from? <laughs> Sister Andrea Simiti, always online. If you ever see that name, that's the lady. God bless you. Welcome, welcome home. Good to have you in Montego Bay on today. Oh, you're the one who did a long time, you see? No man was she more than you. Oh, that God. <laughs> Amen. We praise God for your presence. Amen. Here today. I saw you landing and wondering if it was Dubai. Didn't know it was Montego Bay. Amen. We're excited for everybody that are here today. Amen. We've got a service tonight, Sam Sharp Square. So we ain't gonna be long because we have to rest up for that. But I want you to get aggressive your faith apostle has already amen got you to that place so you should by now have enough faith so my work will be easy do you have a bottle of water and olive oil with you can get that mixed right now for some serious move of god do you you didn't do that why y'all don't be obedient all right everybody rush 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 let's to the shop Sister Val, somebody help me shop there. Get a bottle of olive and water and mix it, please. I'm going to go inside out on deliverance right now. Please, go get some of this. Everybody got their touch from Friday. Who wasn't here? Who got the anointed oil? It have to be saved for other place. So get your oil. Run the shop quick and fast. I want to make a public announcement and statement. A breaking news on you here today is going to elevate you. Father, we give you praise. You have suffered for so long. You keep wandering where your change will be gone. You try to cry till no tears left in your eyes. But when you feel Hope is gone away by faith. You knelt and prayed, knowing that Jesus will be passing your way. Ah, said, You have suffered. For so long, 
You keep wondering where your change will be gone. You try to cry till no tears are left in your eyes. Yeah. But when you feel hope is gone away, yeah. By faith, you knelt and prayed, knowing Jesus will be passing your way. I want to tell somebody here today, you are here, you fail and fail. I feel God yeah, yeah. You are here. You found it. It's no more. No more. But virtue has left his body. No more time to cry. I praise the Lord. I know. Can I get a weakness here? Yeah. Say you have suffered for so long. You keep wondering where you're chained. Oh, I feel healing here. Yeah, yeah. You try to cry till no tears left in your eyes. Feel God, but when you feel hope is gone away by faith, you knelt and prayed, knowing Jesus will be passing. There you are. Yeah, you are. Virtue has left this body. No more time. Fire. Praise the Lord. Do you believe it here? Lift your and say, I am here. Shut up. One touch. Feel the blood. I feel the blood. You are received. No more. But virtue. Has left it no more to cry and worry. Praise the Lord. I know you are. Old age. I want you to listen carefully. I am praising the Lord because I know somebody here will be healed today. I don't know about you. You can sit around and spectate and behave like you don't need nothing and just expect me to do everything for you and you don't have no faith to receive the healing. You're in trouble because I got no time for you. I'm looking for people who are receiving this, who are feeling excited about it and praising God that it is them. It is you. If you know I'm talking to you, I wish you would have praised God. Woman, you are. You see, I can't help people who don't got no faith to believe. Are you with me? Hello, if I. If Prophet March Stewart walk in here and I look at you and I say, 
Praise the Lord. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know you. You are. You better get excited. You see, we don't come to church to play like some of you. Come with your iffy body, maybe faith. Looking at us, wondering who are. Look at us. Silver and gold. We're not giving you our money. But such that we have. We're going to give you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever you come here for today. It shall not overwhelm you. But it shall leave you. Receive. Rapash. Maku. Ta 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 ta. Chai. Virtue. Has left this body. No more time. To cry and worry, woman, praise the Lord. I know I command the virtuous power of God to touch your body, lift your faith. How many times do we tell you people not to catch but catch a box? Pick her up. Marshall, you gotta tell these people. Pick her up. Woman, get up. Hi! Listen. There are times you see people and you see they're looking nice, beautiful, and pretty on the outside but you will never know what's happening on the inside because they're not going to tell you because they want to remain looking on the outside as beautiful but when you have an ultrasound machine a cat scan when you have a, uh, a detector like mark stewart mm, i look way beyond what outside looks like and I go way in and I perform surgical operational and I disturb every diabolical situation that is worrying you, troubling you right now and I decree and declare woman in the name of Jesus without even announcing what it is I declare you are condemned to victory I have a sh sentence to win this battle loose in the name of Jesus loose and be delivered fire of God oh that's my topic <sighs> I gotta behave myself because my this anointing if I you know Rissy stay with her stay with her tight woman You love to laugh. It's not a joke. It's serious. Virtue has left his body. Hey, it's done. No more time to cry and worry for prayer.
the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I know you are here. Can I can I be crazy today? Sometimes my spirituality have no behavior. It gets crazy. Woman over there with the thick glasses over there in the corner. Will you lift your hand and shout Jesus three times over there as you take your drink? Oh, you got to give me come out. Somebody better stay with her. She's not even staying. She's not even staying. She's not even staying. the Lord. Somebody say praise the Lord. Hello. My anointing come natural. I don't have to fake it. I don't have to pretend about it. It's a natural gifted anointing. If you does not possess faith, leave this place. I am not a player. Lift your faith and say, praise the Lord. Say, I know. I am here. Somebody holler. Somebody say, breaking news. Touch your name and say, breaking news. Can I declare to somebody in this room? Right now, I have a sentencing for you. I'm going to sentence all of you. Right now. Can I sentence you? Can you trust me to sentence you? Huh? I say, can you trust Mark Stewart to sentence you? Well, I'm declaring that you're sentenced to victory and condemned to win today. Lift your hand and say, I'm sentenced to victory. Which means all the rest of my life, uh, I'm going to have victory. Because I'm sentenced. My prison sentence is victory. If you're condemned, if anybody condemn you, for the rest of your life. Just say yes. I'm condemned to be a winner. 20 people agree. I you never hear that. Listen. This is it's not for everybody. This is for those who have made up their mind. That complete victory is a must. I said this is for some people in this church. Who have made up your mind. No matter what the hell you're going through. Touch that card for Complete victory is a must. Uh, people. Somebody said people. May join to take you down. They may join to take an evil decision over your life. Just a minute, I'm talking to you. Over your life or take action that are geared towards relegating you to the back. To the background. Such decision or action will eventually turn out for your good. If you can pray. Can you pray? I know one prayer we pray. First John 5, 4, what it says, whoever is born of God overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Somebody say faith. Every born again child of God has been sentenced to the winning line. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. 
Jesus won the victory for us on the cross of Calvary, right? Somebody say, right? Uh -huh. As many as will appreciate these blessings into their lives, they are winners. Everybody say, I'm a winner. We have been blessed with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places. That's Ephesians 1, 3. All spiritual blessing in heavenly places. I cannot lose a war until Jesus comes. I cannot lose a battle. Huh? I'm sentenced to victory. And I'm going to serve that sentence. <laughs> Anybody ready to serve that sentence? You sure? You, you can handle that victory sentence? Because every time I turn around, God is blessing me. You know, I got testimony to you know. The other day, my, my British visa expired. See, I went and come back in time because, you know, I'm a, uh, when it comes on to traveling, I don't take risks. I'm very disciplined because I don't want, I've never been turned down. I've never been, 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 been. One time they tried it. One time I went to the British embassy, applied, and I think I'm one of the only men who go back to the embassy and borrow my passport and say, I got to go to America. When I come back, I take it back. Can you please lend me my passport to travel? And when I come back, I'll bring it back. So when I came back, I brought it back. And one Jamaican woman called me on the phone from the British Embassy. Oh, you didn't have to bring it back because you've been denied. I said, excuse me. I've been denied? Oh, yes. So you can come back for your passport with attitude, you know. I said, okay. I said, all right, cool. I said, God, now this is in your hands. It's not my problem. That's yours. I don't pay no mind. I don't worry. I don't stress. I was going to church. I'm fasting, praying for one week. The next week, <laughs> I'm finished fasting and um, I am checking my phone and I saw the travel agent calling me down. So I called the travel agent and said, "Were well, you calling me like this? He said, ah, where have you been? I said, I've been in church. He said, well, you must have been praying because the British embassy called and said, we need to talk to Mark Stewart. I said, what? They said, well, here's the decision. The decision to not grant you your British visa has been overturned. So bring back your passport so we can put in. At the time, I applied for, I think it was two years. I think they have six months, uh, two, three, uh, five, and they're about. I didn't go. I go for the smallest. Ha! When I went back and dropped it off, and when I got it back, I was shocked. What I applied for was not what I got. If it was six months or two years, I know something around there. But I know they stand five years in that. I'm sentenced. To victory. I'm condemned to win. So this time, uh, I went back to the travel agent. I said, the five years is up. And I'm reapplying. I said, I said, now, how many, what do they got available? She said, well, nobody really goes for the 10 here because it's a little pricey. So six months, uh, five years, you could do that again. Again, I said, ah, ah, ah. I said, 10 years is the max. She said, Yeah. I said, That's what I'm going for. She said, You're sure? I said, Yeah. I said, She said, What's it? I said, What's it cost? It's over a thousand US dollars. I said, Money is not my problem. I just want 10 years because I'm tired of applying and applying, applying, applying. Um, when I went up there yeah, to do the biometrics, yeah, they said, Ah. Uh, Mr. Stewart, it's going to be about three weeks or so until you get back. Your I said, no worries. I won't come back to borrow it this time because I don't have any plans to travel right, right now. Amen. In less than two weeks, a week and a half, I got a message from uh, door to door. They got documents for me uh, to pick up. So Monday morning, I rushed there. I said, can I have my documents? They said, oh, password. I said, ah, already? 
I thought the religion said three weeks. And when I look in that thing, 2034, 10 years time, I don't have to apply because I'm sentenced to victory. I'm condemned to be a winner boy. I am unstoppable, uncontrollable, uncontainable. You're not talking to me now. Lift you and praise God. Somebody told me. Somebody made a call to try and stop me from America. And when they made a call to the U.S. place, their phone catch a fire. I am sentenced. Hey, Bashaya. Have you ever thought why some people are afraid of you? And why when they come in at you, they don't come alone. They look for a whole group of people. Even your own friends or even family, boyfriend or husband. To get to you because they know you're a victory. You're a winner. You never lose. So they got to come good before they try to take you out. And the fact that you're still here, they have been unsuccessful to get rid of you. So all the hell they put in you through, lift your hands and say, I'm sentenced to victory. I'm condemned to be a winner. Shout hallelujah. I'm sorry, Marshall. I, I know you preach already. I, I didn't want to preach again, but it's, it's in my belly. It's in my belly. I got to get it out. I got to get it out. If I don't get it out, the, the baby will overdue. <laughs> I want somebody to smile a while. Give your fierce arrest because the sickness can't kill you. I don't care who generation have it. You're not dead with it. I don't care who kill it. If I your papa, your mama, your I don't care. I don't care how much hope you didn't walk. If you send you a pie river, the cemetery now see you because you're condemned. To win. I'm closing already. Ah, Let me say something. We are workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Ephesians 2.10 says God create a creation is always good. I want you to look at yourself and I don't know, you can see yourself. You're not looking in the mirror. Because some of you look in the mirror and want to cover your mirror. You don't like what you see. Some of you get up every day and say, I hate myself. I don't like what I see. I don't look good. That's why some of them make Chinese. Is that trick you know? For the Chinese makeover. Because when you look in a mirror, you're not proud of how God make you. But if you're in another place here, yeah, and when you're looking at the mirror, you just say, wow, God made me good. I'm created in the image. I mean, I'm not Chinese. Make me make over the body. We not bleach it. We not hot to it. We not tummy tuck it. We not but lift it. We not do nothing to it. Because God made me good. And I love God. For what he made me. So tell the devil. Touch not the... I feel him here. Lift you and I praise God. What God create is good. Lift you and I say, I'm good. Somebody say, I am creation. So I'm good. Let me say something big. And if you feel like this is you, I'm talking to you. I want you to jump to the roof and shout, thank you, Jesus. When God created you, he never created you a failure. Oh, 
In God's intention, you were never made to fail. It's the devil's intention for you to fail and be a failure in life. But I know some things have held you back and you felt like enough is enough. I want you to live here and say, God, put me on the road to success because I'm sick and tired of failing where I should be blessed. Live here and say, help of the helpless Lord. If you never know, let me tell you, God never made you a failure. So if things have failed around you and you're living a failed life, it's time for the table to turn. Because your failing days are over. So long, Baba. So long, Baba. Goodbye to my pain and my so. I'm gonna make you pray. I'm gonna make you pray. John 1 12 says, We have eternal life. And so when I live on earth, I'm already telling myself I shall not die, but live and declare. So tell the doctor, be careful what you come to me with to medicate me, to kill me. A lady told me the other day, she went to a doctor, a doctor told her, hey, you got fibroids. I'm going to write you a note. This is where I want you to go. This is why, who I want you to go to. Go to this person at this place to do some blood, some works, and, and then come back to me. Ah, the person said, ah, I'm not going to that place. I'm going to go another place. She went to another place. I'm going to get another and this and that. The next doctor said, what the hell? After nothing wrong with you, after nothing, I'm not saying nothing like that. Why? Because the doctor wanted to make some money out of her. So he specifically was sent to a place that is his place. In order to go a barrage of tests to make some money. Because when some doctors see you, they see money. And they'll make you fret to death. Telling you got things you don't have. Make you do a barrage of tests, spending a lot of money. And what you need to know, a lot of these places the doctors are sending you. Notice it's not a hospital. They're sending you to places to do a whole bunch of tests. That is their place. That they make. Their corporation. All those machines are their machines. And should they know the hospital system is the worst and the government system is crazy, they have created a way to say they're helping you, but they're just making money out of you. So what they're doing, they're taking disadvantage of the system. Only me can say that. I didn't can do me nothing. So they're performing surgeries that don't have to. They are making you do 500 thousand worth of tests that you didn't have to do. But they got to they gotta make money. Are you with me? Are you with me? And many Christians, they are so fooled. Because they come to church and say they're worshiping Jesus and singing, he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my enemy. The chastisement of my peace was up and by strive I'm here. So why are you not here? Why are you going to doctor, 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 spending money, money, money? I go to doctor once per year. Once a year. Sometimes I, I don't even remember. People have to remind me, say, remember you don't go do your yearly checkup in medical yet, just to stick your way. Huh? Huh? Just that. So I, I went the other day, I did all my stuff, and the doctor come and tell me, oh, I see that you're developing a little trace of uh, diabetes, and this and that in your blood. I said, I said, excuse me, doctor. I said, so now um, I'm going to have to give you, I said, give me what? I, 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 I'm going to have to write you some medication. I said, medication what? So he said, so how are you going to treat this? I said, I got some natural stuff that I give people. And then I work out preaching. So I can burn that 
cholesterol or whatever it is. I said, keep your medication slip. Your pharmaceutical slip. Hallelujah. You're not talking to me. It was about three years ago. A doctor looked at me and told me, he's going to write me medication for high blood pressure. I said, doctor, unless there's no garlic in town. Unless there's no coconut water, lime, and garlic in town. Uh, one peg of garlic. Four pills. You get four pills out of one peg of garlic. Two in the morning, two in the evening. With some coconut water, lemon juice. You no pressure. Every day you get up. To one peg of garlic. Don't chew it. Don't boil it. Don't just, just take it like the pill. That's how you take it. You cut it in four. You swallow two piece like the pill. It goes in and it acts as an antiviral. Huh? And it sits in there. And it removes and clean. It's a mess. It sits that pill called garlic goes in and sits in your colon here and begin to root up some stuff while it melts. And it clean the cholesterol bloodline and release the pressure. And what you got to do is ensure you get a half water glass of olive oil, half water glass of lemon juice with a spoon of salt. You mix that and drink that and go lie down. About an hour, you go sit on the throne. Every kidney stone, God's stone, every carotis. Locked up in your bowel area. Is flushed. Every leaf. Every unwanted things. That lodge up blocking. All your kidney. Every stone flush. Your liver. Everything flush out. When you look back in the toilet. You are going to say Jesus Christ. Had they not sitting there in me? You still don't go to the doctor yet. See why they want to kill me? I got a PhD. I'm not doctor for nothing. Do you know how many people? There's a man here in Montego Bay. I can send you to ask him. 450 kidney stones. He passed out with my remedy. He said two years ago, somebody told him and he never believed. When I told him, he went and do it. 200, four, sorry, 450 kidney stones. He passed out one time. In the doctors, they go study for nothing. They study to make money. You are their patient. Do you know how many surgeries shouldn't happen? Do you know how many operations shouldn't happen? Do you know how many deaths shouldn't die? But in this country, you can't. You don't sign a paper to sue nobody. You sign a paper that if you're dead, not that doctor. You ever realize that? The paper you sign when you're going in surgery operation is to say, if nothing wrong, nobody takes responsibility. No liability to no doctor, not the government. Huh? You can't sue nobody. So if they kill you, you're just dead. Gone. That's it. Autopsy shows something else. I want you to start taking responsibility for your life. And begin to make some declarations over your life. That if God has created all natural things, and if God has created me good, and if God has created good medicines and good herbs and good water and good stuff, huh? 
You get up every morning. You all make doctor telling, oh, you, you, you're, you're dehydrated. You're this and go give you a pill. And you're just not drinking water. Like myself sometimes. They told me, oh, you're dehydrated. I said, crazy. And I said, what the, the hell must I be? I got to drink more. Amen. But every morning, brother, if you put a case of water of 24 by your bedside, just in case you forget. And every morning as you step up, you see the water, you pull a bottle and drink. I guarantee you, 40 minutes, 30 minutes after, you're definitely going to the bathroom. Because the, in the first drink of water in the morning, it acts as a flush. And so you want to walk up and down and feel bunks in the day, flush. You don't want to, you get up luggy, lazy, can't hardly move, because there's a lot of things stored up that needs to come up. So you need something to soften up and remove. Save your doctor bill, no man. Buy a 24 case, go put on your bedside. You don't have to go call the regional. See, black people, we have a mindset of doctor, doctor. Huh? There's two things Especially Jamaican people of Obian doctor. Hospital ever full, doctor shop ever full, and Obian man ever make money. You don't want to listen to me. Let me close. Tell them again what you say. The doctor fee is more than what the case of water is going to cost. And we, we sell. The most is most expensive, one of the most expensive water, yes, in Jamaica. You don't hardly see it on every supermarket shelf because it's not a cheap water. You know why? Because it carries the ISPH. The alkalinity is powerful, almost nine. When you have a water with an alkalinity of almost nine, drink a lot of it because your body needs alkaline based water to help your stomach huh? to release. All those toxins under your body. That's why we sell one of the best water in the country. Some of you drink the dirty water because it's cheap. And then everything cheap, good. So you go buy water, water, which is, which is dirty water made clean. But it's still never, ever clean. So if you test that water, you will realize it's dirty water. You drink it because it's cheap. And you say, ah, I can't afford good life because Mark Stewart said it's too dear. It's too dear. So you go buy the dirtier water and you you make your body worse because you're taking in more toxins and more dirt. And then it carries you to the doctor because all of these companies and corporations they work together to take your money. Hello? Don't you know that? Have you ever seen the doctor has all these prescription slips from the various pharmacies? Huh? So they're working together. Huh? So the pharmacy sends to this doctor and said, send some patient over to me. We got a lot of drugs. Everybody get a cut. Everybody lift your hand and say, I'm not a drug addict. Everybody lift your hand and say, I'm not a drug addict. So I'm never going to live on pharmaceuticals. I shall be healed and delivered. Do you know what happened to drug addict after a while? Huh? They go crazy, they go mad, they take overdose, they die, they end up in jail, they do something crazy, and they, they become crazy people. A lot of people are being running, their lives are running crazy because of medication. You know why I hate medication? Because every time I listen to medication's advertisement, it hurts my feeling. It says, take psoriasis, or take this, or take that for your heart. It will help this and that. One problem is going to help. But the side effects may include cirrhosis of the liver, headache, vomiting, diarrhea, this, that, that. If you take that, it's giving you all these problems, consult your doctor. Where do you think the doctor will go? Give you something else. So if your liver has cirrhosis, that means that your liver has cirrhosis. But if they don't want cirrhosis, they say cirrhosis. That's a doctoral term for uh, your liver rose up with the medication. You must forget one pharmaceutical near. Yeah, doctor. Hallelujah. 
Doctors are good. I go there, as I said, for a night. If I have to do so and so. But I hear some doctor tell some people, don't eat no fruits or vegetables. One time a doctor tell a woman, don't eat no fruits, don't eat no vegetables. A woman died in two weeks' time. Fruits and vegetables are nicer. You don't matter what sickness you have. Fruits and vegetables are natural. Okay, then. Let me leave that alone. Anyway, I'm just saying to you right now, you got to convince yourself that God made you good. So whatever is coming in to make you bad, you begin to speak from your mind to reverse bad because you are good. You have to be intentional. Don't let it get to you. We're going to depress you, then suck you, then murder you, don't, then kill you. Huh? Jesus, watch this. Here's this big one. Jesus became poor that we might be rich. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9. All those who are living in poverty are below the poverty line. I want to tell yourself, you to tell yourself, this month is the last month. I'm living that way. Uh, your faith, your faith, your faith. I don't know about you, but from yesterday, my and me got scratch me. <laughs> I feel money. 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 The onion catch me. <laughs> I want to say to you, you don't have to know the source. You don't have to know where it's coming from. You don't have to know the root. You don't even have to do anything to get it. But if you make up your mind that you're condemned to victory and sentenced to win, there's a financial breakthrough that is about to hit you before the month is over because God will make people remember you that you don't even remember. He'll make people bless you that you never expect. Somebody said this month today is the 17th by the 24th of this month the 24th of the 4th, 2024. I'm waiting for that day. I said, I'm waiting for the 24th of the 4th, 2024. How much four you got there? Everything I double, double. Uh. Apostle, yeah. Is there anybody in this church who got a breakthrough calendar? You have your breakthrough calendar? Who never get none? You're lucky. You should have get one. But if you have none from, from, from bakery, from supermarket, or anywhere you get any from, I want you to go home and I want you to mark the 24th of the 4th 2024 and declare by that day everything about my life must double you're gonna do it you're gonna mark it some of your calendar is on your phone and you love to keep track of dates i know you ladies just as you keep track of dates of your period on your phone and you mark the dates so by that time my period supposed to this and that you mark them dates on your phone to get a signal or a message i want you to mark that date on your phone and said i've got to get a signal or a message from my phone that this is the 24th of the 4th, 2024. I don't know what day that is, but mark that day and make up your mind. By that day, a breakthrough must hit my house, my finance, my life, my family, my deliver somebody. I gave you a date. I said, I gave you a date. Pray to that date. Tell yourself by that date, that unusual date, that date is not a normal date. Watch that date. 
the 24th of the 4th, 2024. Everything that's a double up. Everything that's a double double up. So my life by that date will be double because I'm sentenced to win and I'm condemned to victory. Somebody scream. Apostle? That day is coming. What day is that day? What day is that day? What day is that day? A Wednesday. What day is that day? What day is that day? Where will you be that day? Or you think I'm a fool, fool prophet. You'll be right in the house of the Lord. Shouting and testifying. On that day. Next week. Wednesday. Is your day. Ah! Hold on. Apostle. Can I confess? At first. I know it's a Wednesday that day. Can I confess? I did not come up here with nothing like that in my mind. I never planned it. Never thought about it. It just revealed to me while I was here. So I did not even know what day that would fall on. That it's got, it's a Wednesday. So now you can, you can wonder if I'm real or I'm fake. And this is Montego Bay Miracle Center. So I am now declaring next week, Wednesday, we're going to have a special double double fasting deliverance release service right on this ground next week, Wednesday. Double double day. I am giving you a warning. A new day is. <laughs> oh, this is too much this is too much apostle this is too much oh. apostle find me 24 envelopes let me leave I am I, am, I don't know what God is doing a waste right now but I'm feeling something mighty. Your sentence to win, condemn to victory. Oh, you never heard that before. I'm on an assignment to turn people's life around for better. Hello, you watch this church since we have been here. This church, like a day like this, would be overpacked. But half the people who've been coming here from last year, January, is not in Jamaica anymore. You think I'm joking? The amount of people that I've got, what you say? Jesus, see, there's one more soon gone again. We can't manage. That's why we are going to some shop square. Go look people. Because if we not go hunt people every day, the church are going to empty. Because it's a miracle center. And people are getting breakthrough. Up and breakthrough. Up and breakthrough. We have to keep hunting members. 
God, this place is now like an embassy in Montego Bay. And a lot of people don't even realize that this ministry is like an embassy. People are going in and out of this ministry and getting so much deliverance. It's crazy. And I come to tell somebody. No, no, but, no, no, but you know, first me I see you. First you come up. Right, first me I look for you, good. Married before? Married before? Yes. You were married before? You are married. Where are you? You're home. Why are you not wearing? Your finger get back? Watch it. Get your ring on your finger. Get it on your finger. Okay? Into where? Do you have the limit? Okay. The sentence to victory. While I was standing there, I said, the Lord said, not just your help, but I hear the Lord say, pray for marriage, for your sentence to be mine. And nothing is going to change that. So whatever is coming to change that, we are reversing it today. Your sentence. While I was talking, I hear the Lord say, tell you, your sentence to be married. So that's why I have to ask. Because I love to ask that lots of people married in a way they wait. I don't want to go prophesy or tell me I'm a liar. So anything that is coming to affect your marriage, your happiness, your security, I reverse it. And I curse it. You were made to be happy. Your sentence to be married. I command every Jezebelic spirit to back up and back out. I release you and your marriage to be happy, to be joyful. Now, in Jesus' name, reverse, loose, in the name of Jesus, victory shall be yours. You cannot lose the battle because you're sentenced to be married. Can I prophesy from here? I'm feeling too much. I need to close. What time is it? The three. We gotta, we gotta go rest for later. You want to go? This thing is too sweet. Because Jesus became poor, then I am going to be rich. I don't care where your finances is are right now. I'm giving you till the 24th of the fourth. <laughs> something's got to change by next week Wednesday one week's time new beginning get ready for it huh expect it unknown source and I hear also uncommon favor you're not ready for it here is it that everybody who is being medicated right now and everybody who is feeling sick and having sickness issues or whatever form, shape or size, I really do not care. If I was a doctor right now, I would cancel all your prescriptions in this room today. Take up your water. Because I'm giving you a prescription. If you don't have faith to believe it, you're wasting time in this church. I'm not a player. I'm not a joker. I'm a healer. Lift up that water. You see, when we're operating, you're not, you're not going to come here and see Mark Stewart operating the same way every week. It depends on the patients. It will determine the treatments. And sometimes we got to we got to mix it up on the devil and shock him and do some things he never expected. Watch this. 1 Peter 2.24 Jesus carried my infirmities so I can have divine help. Jesus carried my infirmity so I can have divine help. I don't want you to have a doctoral help which the doctor maintains on medication. 
I want you to have a divine help which comes through healing. So now for that, you're going to have faith because what is in your hand is that blood of Jesus that will configure your blood and begin to transfuse in your bloodline that which is healing to remove every sickness and every conditional condition that is affecting your body today. I'm declaring the water in your hand not to be water anymore, but to represent the blood of Jesus. That as you drink, there is going to be a blood transfusion. And if Jesus' blood begins to run through your vein, then every sickness is going to flush out of your body. On the light here today, you will come back to testify that one drink bring a change. Lord Jesus, the woman got one drink. And he said, that drink will spring up into you, into everlasting life. Means that when you get that drink, you can cancel death. You can cancel surgery. You can cancel hospital. You can cancel everything that is diabolically affecting your life. Because this one drink is your healing. Lift your hand on the bottle. Say, by the blood of Jesus, I shall prevail. Over sickness. Today. I decree and declare. I'm condemned. To be healed. And sentenced. To be delivered. Now. By faith. And I have faith. So I receive healing. In my body. With one drink. Of the blood of Jesus. Right now, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Go ahead and drink as much of the water as you can drink. Drink till your belly full. I didn't say sip, I said drink. One of them people that want testimony. Drink till your belly full. See, sometimes you come to church and you get something. It's when you go to the doctor. The doctor says, take two tablets, two times a day after meal. Da, 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 da. And you have to follow the routine. Isn't that true? Follow my routine today. Drink till your belly full. And that's the routine. <laughs> because today, yes, make it good. Um, drink enough. I'm declaring what is called divine health. What kind of health? So if you go back to the doctor and the doctor tell you all kind of foolish, tell him, nah, I got divine health. Not human health, not medicated health, but you are going after divine health, which means the devil cannot seek you with nothing to kill you because your body is under divine health. All right. Did it work? Did it work? You don't believe? I should have had crowd for this. Yeah. There is somebody in this church. Philippians 4 7. I want to give it to you. There's somebody in this church. Your life is in no peace whatsoever. Every single morning, noon and day and night, your life is in misery. And where you live, at your house, with your family, with the people around, there is no peace at all. Who is that person? That's so much on I'm going to give you a verse. <laughs> what is this? Apostle, I need prayer. Philippians 4, 7. God has given you peace. I said, God, today, all those who have no peace, lift your hand and say, today, Philippians 4, 7, I apply it to my life. God, today, give me peace against all my haters, against all my attackers, against all my enemies. I shall sleep well tonight. There's a peace in my soul. 
when I'm with you, there's a peace in my soul when my spirit is in tune. You're my man, stirring up. I'm not a slave to sin anymore. Cause there's a peace running deep. I'm closing. Shh. You don't believe me. I'm operating in. I said, you shall have peace. After you leave this church, peace shall come to your life. God is going to make sure you have peace. Ah. See, God has done so much for us. And so the question I want to ask you today, why are we willing or living as failures? Why are you living as a failure? When God has done so much to deliver you. Why don't we believe that we have what God says we have? And we are who God says we are. Huh? Why don't you believe it? Your problem is your belief. You allow what people say and it's doing to you to get the better of you to the point where you disbelieve God and the word of God. You have no faith, hope, and strength in the word of God because there's so many things Satan and his idiots have tried to do to you. You don't realize God has been keeping you because you're still standing. And he has done so much and continues to do so more and is ready to do more to deliver your life from your enemies. Just raise your faith. Hello? I know there are about 20, 30 of you who would wish to God today that I call you up specially, lay hands and bless you and prophesy over you and read you up. Stand up on your feet. I didn't carry none of that with me. Raise your hands. You can pray for yourself. And so help me when I finish, I'm going to put on the mic and walk out of here. And if you don't believe in your own prayer and still feel like I need to pray for you, then you have no faith and you're wasting my time. Because result is coming to you on your prayer. Live your faith. Right now. Those who got touched already, you're lucky. You'll get touched. My touching hands have locked off. Lift your hands. I got one verse of scripture for you. It's not the time you talk to nobody, say nothing to nobody. Listen carefully. Isaiah 40 verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They shall. I'm sentenced. To victory and I'm condemned to win. Raise your hand. You're gonna pray this prayer with me loud, every line, like your life depending on it. Musicians, everybody get ready. So let all my enemies fall into their own trap in the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, convert my struggles to prosperity. By the 24th and the 4th, 2024, say, Oh Lord, I refuse to let you go unless you bless me. Say that again, Lord, I refuse to let you go until you bless me. I got the Jacob's anointed. Say, Every evil preparation. Against my life. Be frustrated. In Jesus name. Oh Lord. Let my joy. Peace. Blessing. Be multiplied. Say blood of Jesus. Disconnect my life. From failure. At the edge of my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Say, I refuse 
to reap evil harvest in every department of my life in Jesus name let divine favor in every blessing of my lot in Jesus name I cut off and reject inherited poverty from my generation I cut it off from my mother's side and my father's side I chop it off poverty be buried with my whole generation in the name of Jesus as of today I decree and declare increase double double let the foundation of my life be repaired to carry divine prosperity divine prosperity in Jesus name let every territorial power in the ring answers to my prayer be brought down to the pit in Jesus name I refuse to offer an acceptable offering in the name of Jesus all those who have offered an acceptable offering today come back to the altar with more <laughs> if you know your offering has been unacceptable based on the fact that you just give what you felt and not what the Lord desire then you need to revisit the altar before you leave I'm not joking now lift your hands I refuse to run ahead of God in all my endeavors I'll wait on the Lord because when God come through I'm sentenced to victory so I refuse to harbor any prior killer in any department of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I speak destruction unto the fruits. Loose your hold upon my life. I command you to separate from me. I place the cross of Jesus. Between me and you devil. I forbid your fruit. Never return. Or deposit. Or any other evil thing. Somebody praise God. I decree and declare. Against blood pollution. Failure of divine promise. Parental curse. Back off of me. Examination failure. Back off of me. Ear manipulation. Back off of me. Death. Back off of me. Unexpected hindrance. And hatred. Back off of me. Incomplete victory. Back off of me. Close roads. Open for me. Spiritual confiscation. Return to me. Miracle delays. Open the door. Self-declared. Antagonistic. Slow down progress. Back off of me. Every circular problem. Open up and reverse. Satanic timetable. Shut down. Touch your body, say infirmity. Infirmity. Come out of me. Touch your body, say all infirmity. In my body. Y'all are touching your body. Infirmity. All over my body. Get out. In Jesus' name. Shout hallelujah here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said my finances that is caged up. I pull you now with the key of prosperity. 
open curse and shred reverse marital downgrading leave me alone anti-promotion spirit disappear lack of direction reverse dream harassment anybody been harassed in your dream all kind of bad dream I come harass you it's a dream harasser back off of me in Jesus name parental hatred reverse Anybody hear your parents hate you? And you had them pin there? It's a parental hatred. Back off of me. By the way, do you know that's a curse? When your parents hate you, you know your curse. Biblically, if your parents hate you and this man, you, it's a curse. Okay? So you have to reverse those curses. All the curse and bad words and nasty things your parents utter against your life. It will affect you because they are your parents. It's in your their blood. So whatever they speak over your life will happen. That's why you have to speak good things over your children. Over your children. Or else bad things will happen. Whatever. You don't know that. A lot of people are under parental curse. If your mother gets up every day, you call your drunk girl. You're going to meet me like drunk girl. It's powerful. You don't even know it. If your father gets up every day, you call your teeth. You're going to turn teeth. If God don't change your rearrangement, listen, as a young man, I was called all of those things. And I had to sit down and say, God, reverse it. Never let it become the past. As a matter of fact, let me disappoint all of those words that comes out of that man's mouth. And God made me a preacher. So that all of those things that was said would not manifest over my life. Uh, a man look at me and say, you go, Charles, don't you mark it? Don't you say, you go, push care, don't you mark it? Police are going to shoot you. You go, all that and dirty things. Every day I had to reverse all of them. Until God never let me become a market card pusher. That's what my father saw me as. They are going to push card down a market. Police are going to shoot me. A drunk up with me. Born behind cow. Now I come to nothing. And I had to sit down with tears in my eyes and say, God, reverse all. As a matter of fact, let me be better than everything that I said. And I watched and saw that man sit down in a church and look for me on a ball. And I can hear him say, all of the things I'm missing are come true. Because I was preaching to him. Sit down with the eye watch. Everybody are watching. Sit down and watch me and preach on a ball. Live in the eye watch. I come out and just sit down and watch me start preach. And I can just imagine all the nasty things are ringing when he said. And he realized that nothing has come to pass. You have the power to do it. But you have to tell yourself, I am sentenced to victory. Because if you allow yourself to be sentenced by those negative things, that's how you're going to live. That's what your life is going to be. Am I helping somebody? But if you declare, Lord, turn it around, then it's done. You want to pray 10 more? Stretch your hand. Lift your hand. Someone will get lazy. Sit down like on a paraplegic. Get up. Should I dismantle every satanic dustbin? Every satanic dustbin fashion against me. I dismantle you. I recover every fragment of my life from the hand of all soul wickedness. Every evil grip upon my spirit loose your hold every evil grip upon my soul loose your hold every evil grip upon my body loose your hold I overthrow every demonic judgment directed against me in the name of Jesus I dismantle by the blood of Jesus every evil throne install against my life i challenge and disgrace every satanic prophet hired against me by fire by fire by fire clap your hands for victory
Shout hallelujah. Father, I pray over every soul. I pray over every life in this place. I pray for greater manifestation and revelation of miracle healing signs and wonders. Let the power of God manifest deliverance over every person in this room. Those who have been touched, prayed for. Those who have not received, let them receive. Let your power fall and your glory rise. And let deliverance be upon them now by fire, by force. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody shout hallelujah. We are crazy prophets. I got 24 envelopes for next week. For a seed of 24,000. For next week. 24. If you don't take it, I'm going to walk with them somewhere else. But that date will fall while I'm here. You need 24 persons to go to the bank. Go in your bank book. Go in your piggy bank. In your purse. I ask God before that day to bless you with a 24,000 to put on this altar on that day. The 24th of the 4th, 2024. And see what's coming to you. Anybody wants one? Come for it. 24. I don't care. You can all say we're taking your money, but you're going to thank me after. Apostle, may I swear the money upon the day? Me. Think so now left me out. On that day, me, Mark Stewart. May I put a request. 20, 24, 4, 24, 4. I check up all of that, you know. I multiply and put up I'm a price by and put it by me. You can't see it. Who wants? How much we have left? I don't want it, man. I don't want it. I didn't say 4,000. I didn't say, I said 24. Prove God, no man. This is a marvelous day. What a day. You ever hear about that day before? But I can't believe I hear them day there. 24th of the 4th. 2024. Huh? I've never in my lifetime seen a date like that. Something is going to happen for that day. And it only takes your faith to manifest for that day. What do I have left? About 12. Some of you don't feel you can do it. Or you can trust God for it. It's all right. I'm going to take them somewhere else. I'm going to take them tomorrow. 24 must done. It must finish. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to take them. Or tonight, I don't know. Amen. That's a day to soul boy. Let me uh oh, what you said? Let me shock you. On that day, let me tell you something right now. If you call up Supreme Venture on that day, they will tell you they, they make the most money at day. Because every gambler is gonna gamble on that day. Let me tell you that. That's what I just hear in my spirit. He says, some of you sitting here don't want to do it. But let me tell you, every gambler I will gamble upon that day. Because that day is a day that every gambler feels. That number must give them some. Now I tell you, they just come to my spirit. I'm not a gambler, but I'm telling you. And they are going to believe in the day. But some of you who come to church, they're going to get out their book. They're going to get out their whatever. And they're going to see what that day means. And they're going to put money on it. When people go to Supreme Venture, what they spend? What they do? They gamble. They line up and buy what? Cash fat. Big three. Big four. Big beer. Big this. All kind of stuff. Huh? And they have confidence. And I'm telling you, some people are buying number and every number in that number. With an expectation. I'm telling you. I don't know any how we gamble. I'm telling you. 
I hear somebody say, what? We just get that thing, man. What can we find a real official? Somebody just get that tip. I'm a prophet. Hey, one time I was preaching in St. Catherine under a tent. And some people were passing. And I was prophesying and telling them about dig another well. And so on for that. And you know, so the man them, one of them are Christian. And the rest of them, but they might travel together. And you know, so the man them say, if I'm mad to what this up, them leave Spanish town at the train line there, sir. When you go by the train line, we'd have a tent right over there, sir. And when them reach out at Angel, one of them say, you know, sir, we shot up on the on the Monday. And Christian said, Boy, I know some of you are still, but. And when him see the man, him a gamble for the number when I declare under the ten. The Christian, him, go follow them. And say, Boy, I am out to what you know, so I don't get left. One time, I travel at St. Anna, I stop at one place. I buy something. And the Christian man, and him tell me, him say, Pastor, I have a confession to make. One time we are passed out of one meeting when you are keep and you are declared some numbers us, and I'm bridge bridging them at travel. I you know say well, I will go gamble. I'm a Christian, but I, but I try you, I couldn't pass it, I got to. But I did go little. I'm bridging them win big and I win little. The man, I told me, I tell him, I tell him, they stop believing what I said, that they went and did it, and won. There's a woman who became a millionaire in Tiva the Garden. Because I told them to bring their cards. And the woman, they were playing with me. They think I was joking. One lady brought her a Scotia card. And I tell her, I tell them, this woman, don't be a millionaire. I think I'm joking. You know what the woman went and did? The woman went and gambled after I prayed for her card. Do you know she won $8 million and brought back and come to church and testify? But I made a delete past that I didn't see no other way, but we got your mommy win. You know, they talk at Tivoli. They talk like they come from one different world. See the man here, and him tell me, I'm going to do it, I'm going to win. Literally, he huh? had a million. Scotia. Now tell us what to do. But when you have a prophet, anybody who has faith in him, and what he says will bring results. It don't matter what. God, see, God is no respecter. You don't know. Me ask, so, come here, ask God and say, God, then all the money will gamble for me and wait. All that go. And me can do it. Yeah? <laughs> say, God, all that go. Me can do it and then go do it for me and wait. When I was a young pastor, oh, I know it is true that people do it on me. Anytime people see me, they gamble. Literally. There's a man, he always in green suit, he drives a green van. I, do, I never forget him. I was a young pastor in Lock Hill, St. Mary. Every time I pass that man, the man looked for him, I was a pastor. Why? To them, I see you. To them, I go again. Every day. And I met me, I was a 21, 29 apart. Anytime the man see me, he go right in my place, go again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it's not even closer to God because it's always at the bar. But whenever I'm see me, he leave the bar and go over the gamble. As him see me. I'm ever happy when he see me. So when I want nothing done, I call him. And I say, like, oh, yeah, gamble, come help me. And he use him and draw anything more for free. I'm just telling you. Believe, kill, believe, cure. But you have to have faith. So even when it looks like foolish things, but you just have faith in the prophetic, it will bring on crazy results. And you never remember you know, the prophets of old them do some crazy things and get some crazy results. Huh? Them say the water bad, and the man say, get some salt and bring salt and you turn our water, the water become good. You get what I'm saying? So you, you understand that the wine run out, and Jesus said, All right, get me some water. Show him the same wine buckle where you take out the wine out of. And by the time him serve it, it become wine. You get what I'm saying? People like us are not normal. But people like you have to believe. I'm closing. God bless you. Stand on your feet. God bless you. Have you been educated? Have you been blessed? Have you been prayed for? Okay. Huh? Raise your hands. Father, we thank you for this gathering. We thank you for your mercy and your grace.
as your people leave this place. We pray for greater grace and greater glory. Let your power, let your anointing, and let your miracle flow in and through their lives, even so now, in Jesus' name. And the church say, God bless you. Remember, we got the products from there. Get whatever you need. Amen. Six o'clock, we're going to Sam Sharp Square. Amen. So meet us there in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I'm going to ask all my visitors to come and get one of my visiting card, please, and write down your name and your number. All my visitors, all my visitors, I want you to take one of all visitors, come for the, one of these little cards. I need your name and your number so I can call and pray with you and invite you back to church. And you will be a part of the, of the family here in Miracle Center. Just write your name. I need your name. I need your name and your number. I will give you a call. Amen. Just give me your name. Just write on your name and your number and give me back the card, please. Amen. Ushers, remember, I already have a meeting with you and I tell you about this card. Amen. May I have some more card, please? Ushers. I have some more cards, please go for Sister Annet for them. Amen. May you soon, we're going to give you them. Amen. We're going to give you the cards. Just write your name and the number and give me back the card, please. Amen. Amen. I'm going to give you the card. Yeah, just borrow it. Ushers. Soon be here. Soon be back. Thank you very much, ma'am.